So the Vilma Scooby-Doo show is flopping, right? It's not out yet. It was just a movie trailer, and people fucking hate it. Now, am I fucking mad about it, bro? I'm like, man, Scooby-Doo is like, it's all right. I'm not like, oh, my childhood is fucking broken. I'm so pissed the fuck off. But I saw the trailer, and all I can say is fucking wokeness. So... So, so what I see is essentially a show, and it's supposed to be meant a Scooby-Doo for adults, which is kind of ironic because Scooby-Doo was essentially a bunch of stoners back in the 70s. But this one is woke culture, right? And, man, one thing that woke people suck on is making comedy, bro. Wokeness and comedy just don't mix. That should be boring as hell. Over 1.4 million views on the, that, I guess I'll call it preview or whatever you want to call it. And it got around 24,000, you know, upvotes, like likes. That's great. But if you're a person like me that you can actually see the dislike button on YouTube because you got an add-on on it, it has 175 down likes. And it's like, God damn, the dumb voting on this thing is ridiculous. So what? why exactly do they hate this show so much? So let's start it off, bro. It's supposed to be an adult version of a totally, like, changed everything. Like, it's an adult version show of Scooby-Doo. They decided that, you know what? We don't want Scooby-Doo. And you're like, why the fuck don't you want Scooby-Doo? And they're... Answer is, starting off that they don't want Scooby-Doo because it makes it a kid show. And I'm like, bro, Scooby-Doo is the main fucking character. That and Shaggy, right? So you don't have the two main motherfuckers. Actually, you do have Shaggy. <laughs> but this is what they did. They race swapped his ass, right? And you're just like, oh my God. It's like Disney Phase 4 all over again with the... She-Hulk and all that stuff, and yes, it is. Sadly, it is. So they end up having a black person. They gender swap Shaggy, and his name's not Shaggy, by the way, because Shaggy's his nickname. They end up giving him his real name. So Shaggy's real name is Norville, so that's what they ended up calling him. So they got a black dude with, like, you know, hair like me, but, you know, sticking out and shit. And I'm just like, okay, where is this going at? And Velma, obviously... The person that, that has Velma running is that Indian girl from The Office. So so she it's pretty much Velma just like a couple shades browner. And I, I guess she's supposed to be Indian. Then, and then Delphine was supposed to be the sexy girl. Remember her? She was the redhead. Well, now she's Asian, sir. I believe she's not white. I guess she's supposed to be Asian. She's Asian now because, you know, diversity, you know. You know what's funny about diversity? I, I feel like it kind of low-key seems more not diverse when you end up, like, forcefully changing people and the point that, like, not ever one black person hangs around with another black person. No, your group is always full. All my friends are so different. I always got an Asian homie. I got a white homie, an Indian homie. I got a Mexican homie. And it's like... Bro, like, racists do hang around with each other once in a while. I mean, God damn. But yeah, I digress. And then you got Fred, bro. So Fred, Fred is a frat boy. He's a big buff dude. He's the, the sports guy, you know? He's a tall, white, blonde dude. The one that every girl falls in her knees for. Well, guess what? They turned him into a soy boy. They turned him into this scrawny little... Fucking nerdy hipster kid. And I'm just like, he just looks depressed and sad and super shy and shit. And I'm like, all right. This shit is nothing to do with fucking Scooby-Doo. That's the first thing that came out of my fucking mind. So, with all this bullshit, I bring you the new and improved, improved... <laughs> Woke Scooby-Doo with no Scooby-Doo. How can you not have the dog, sir? Bro, what is going on? Now, I, I like, I, I'll give you this. I'll give you this. I'll give you this. People are fucking outraged. I think it's stupid. 
but I am not pissed the fuck off. I am just, I just want, I just think it's so fucking stupid and hilarious. Dude, they're doing the shock factor thing. They do all the fucking time. Same thing Disney and all of them do. They race swap the characters. They, 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 they're too lazy to make new shit. So they get some, some old shit that, they, that fucking was the shit back then. They mix it up, has nothing to do with the original, and then just get offended and mad at the people that genuinely love whatever that is. I'll give an example. Halo. Bro, when Discovery, was it Discovery Plus or what what the fuck was it? Is it Discovery Plus? When they were going to do the Halo shit, remember they brought the Halo movie and people were like, oh, hell yeah, I'm going to hit that Discovery Plus. Fuck yeah. And then you find out. Oh, we took the Halo part, you know, everything that people loved about it, like the, the, you know, just the Halo part. But the story has nothing to do with it. Like, we're just getting the characters. And it's like, what? That makes no fucking sense. Bro, Hollywood be getting too fucking lazy, bro. Even fucking Disney, sir. Look at the Lion King. That shit was literally a remake of everything. And now they're doing it to Scooby-Doo. And if there wasn't enough drama and you think, oh, that's that's all that, the trailer essentially, like they already knew they were gonna have backlash. And the damn little little pop-up trailer, you can see Velma texting supposedly the, the hate speak people, and it's like it triggered people more because in other words, they show that they knew that it was gonna happen. They they don't have a good idea, they just put some fake shit on something that people already love and we pretend we're upset so the news and media talks about it and this is the thing you'll get a couple views bro but at the very end like you'll get that just like she hulk and then nobody else watches it no one ever gives a fuck about it and it's just a uh, uh, hot trash and that's it why do they keep doing it they're just too lazy Bro, make some new shit. <laughs> and then the next controversy for this was about Velma officially. She is gay. Because it was weird because I guess it made like another Scooby-Doo thing. And it was like a holiday shit. I don't fucking know. And I guess she had the hots for... I guess she had the hots for Fred. And that was like controversial. And then all the news reports were like... Not all news, but, but, you know, articles, they make a big deal about it. You see, she's in love, so it can make, you know, buzz. And everybody's like, bro, what the fuck? I, I guess. And then, like, not even a couple days later, now she's fucking bi. Or, or no, I think she's bi. I don't think she's gay. I think she's just bi. And, and now she likes girls. And I guess she has this hipster-looking girl, and then that's some woke girl, and then that's her new fucking, you know, love of her life. And I'm just like... Bro, why, why does everything have to do with gender now? Can you just make a decent fucking show? At this point, it's like, I'm be real. I don't give a fuck about Scooby-Doo. But, bro, <laughs> they literally butchering every new thing for the sake that y'all motherfuckers are just bored as fuck. You don't want to make some new shit. You just want to play it safe. Make some new shit. God damn. So, that's what I think about the... Velma shit. That shit is hot trash. But at the same time, I'm not. It's not gonna ruin my life, you know. Cause I know there'll be some motherfuckers that I'll be watching and shit, and they'll be like, "This is horrible. This is the worst. This is killing my childhood." And it's like, okay, bro, calm the fuck down. <laughs> Damn. All right. All right. Hey, but I digress. I'm not a huge Scooby Doo fan like some people. I guess maybe you know. It's just ain't me. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Y'all motherfuckers gonna watch this shit shit in HBO Max? Or are you guys like, bro, fucking Scooby-Doo. I don't give a fuck about it. They don't even got the Scooby-Doo shit. I'm not even gonna watch this shit, fool. Whatever. Let me know. Like, subscribe, comment on my shit. Regardless if you agree or disagree, I don't care. And that'll be all. Peace.